now here let me start to create this 3d model in solidworks i hope you like it so let's start to make this one first we will make this round face it is a 30 plus and 80 millimeter diameter and inner one is 60 millimeter and the same one is uh, uh, upper one is uh, 50 millimeter you see here the inner one inner diameter is 30 millimeter and 10 millimeter 10 millimeter means outer one 50 millimeter and the length is 100 millimeter select here new okay parts now let me choose the wide background and I'll increase also the documents property image quality little higher than now we will start with front plane a sketch select here so for center line exit let me select here circle and here draw two circles here also draw two small circles select the line connect this end to this end escape again choose and select this end to this end now let's define this dimensions first the middle one define 100 millimeter now here the outer diameter we will say 80 millimeter and the inner one we will keep sixty millimeter and here also the outer one is fifty millimeter and the inner one is thirty millimeter that's fine now let's try use trim entity power trim now here we need to trim this bottom face so just press and drag that's it and uh, here also we need to trim upper one now that's fine select ok here some point are left uh, ok Okay, so this is the our main drawing where we need to now simply select ex exit select extruded boss base. Now here select contour clear and select this face only. We don't need this one now right now. Select here blind. Blind means we need to define distance. So I'll choose here 60 millimeter only in one direction. Okay. Now again I will choose the same sketch extruded boss base and this time again I will clear this one and I will select this face only. See we need to extrude only this face so keep blind and end condition here 30. This is what we required. Okay. Now let's check the now this is 30 and this is 50 plus 10 60. Now the back side is 10 millimeter wall. So let's create this wall. Select the back side. The sketch. Take the normal position from here or you can directly choose from here. Select these two faces. Click convert entities. Or even not these two faces. Just simply select this outer circle convert entity now see it is converted this circle convert entities select line and start from this point to this exit the same we will do from here also here to this point exit now here we need to define so select these two points and select 
tangent now it is tangent here now the same thing we will apply here tangent choose trim entities and select trim power trim and drag press press left key and drag so simply it will be deleted now this is the remaining portion we need okay now simply select exit isometric view now select extruded boss base now see this portion is going to extrude and we need to extrude only up to 10 millimeter according to drawing and here select reverse direction see it, it should comes inside okay that's it now let's make this center part so here the diameter of this circle is 40 and distance from center point is 60 okay and thickness is always 10 and inside red diameter is 16 millimeter so let me select the back side A sketch normal now let me select here center line draw one center line from midpoint exit select here let's say center rectangle that's it circle this point to this point exit now let's define this point now from this point to center point 60 millimeter it's defined this diameter 40 millimeter it's defined and this one we will keep 25 millimeter select here okay let me choose trim entities power trim and pr press left mouse and drag in all directions okay now it is not seen fully defined so you can directly select the dimensions one by one and it will be it it's, it it becomes fully defined and what else balance now it is fully defined actually we don't need that that much drawing but just to we want to show this drawing as a fully defined that's why we did this one uh, it's, it's still shown under defined so select here fully defined sketch calculate undo cancel this is the enough dimension we don't need any more dimensions to be simply select extrude isometric view and select extrude now we want to extrude up to 10 millimeter keep blind condition 10 millimeter and upward direction now see here okay that's fine fillet keep 10 millimeter and select this face rotate this face okay now it's time to mirror so how we will make mirror this one so let me check any plane available uh, this select right plane choose your mirror and select this face and this arc or fillet sorry not arc fillet now see uh, we choose right plane and this two extruded part okay now that's it let me select this face this sketch normal here two circles are here so one here just keep your circle on uh, mouse on this circle and you will see the center point right click ok 16 millimeter 
okay now select both the circles and make relation equal now see that's fully defined exit and select extruded cut and now see we want to cut so either choose 10 mm or through all it's up to you okay that's fine now it's time to add some 10 mm rib here so we will add this rib with the help of rib command so let's start now what we will do select here right plane this is a suitable plane a sketch now here we need to draw a center line but before creating center line we need a vertical line so how we will do this one select this arc convert entity you can see a vertical line here also select this arc select convert entities now choose line now connect this end to this end right click select now see this drawing is fully defined so simply exit and go to choose your rib now see once we choose rib command 10 mm thickness we like we don't need left and right we we need center point and you can see the arrow is going upward direction so just select here flip mat side material side so it's going inside uh this one by default always fixed so we can't do anything because uh, in any die parts you need to define as little draft select here okay now see so this is the simple tutorial let me select the material okay little dark we will choose okay so this is the simple tutorial how to make 3d model in solid works with the help of extrude command we learn many extrude command extruded cut command extrude boss command then mirror then ribs and fillet command so don't forget to share and like our video if you have any comment just write down below we will try to answer each and every question thanks for watching